Today, I want to share with you something incredibly unique and provides a whole new immersive perspective to sculpting that I'm yet to see in any other software. This is ShapeLab, a 3D sculpting software developed to allow artists to work directly in virtual reality, with the ability to move around, view and interact with art on a whole new level. And today, I'm collaborating with ShapeLab to give you a little demo whilst sharing with you some of my thoughts and feelings trying virtual reality sculpting for the first time. This video is sponsored by ShapeLab, but all of the opinions and views are my own. Let's first take a look at the setup I'm using today. I'm using a MetaQuest 3 headset with ShapeLab installed on my computer via Steam. This way I can connect my headset to my computer to go ahead and take full advantage of my computer's hardware. Then it's as simple as starting up MetaQuest Link and away we go. First impressions, sculpting in virtual reality is really strange. It's so much more physical. You're right in the space with your model with an environment that is yours to customize and control and interacting with anything is as simple as reaching out and grabbing it. But just like trying anything for the first time, you need to overcome the initial learning curve. So before making anything fancy, I had to spend some time getting used to the controls and exploring the wide range of tools. And I must say, ShapeLab has done a fantastic job at designing the controls layout to make them incredibly intuitive. I was surprised by how quickly my muscle memory kicked in and how natural it all felt. When I first jumped into this, I first thought a VR sculpting tool was going to be a little bit of a novelty, but I couldn't have been more wrong about this. Turns out ShapeLab can really stand up on its own, and it has many of the awesome tools that we've come to know and expect from other modern sculpting software. And just to touch on a few, there's a range of customizable sculpting brushes, great mirroring and symmetry options, and remeshing tools that I've managed to cap out at around 3.5 half million vertices before experiencing any sort of lag. And there's much more to talk about that I'll touch on throughout this video. At this point, I also started experimenting with different types of movements and the increased dexterity you get when working with VR opens up some interesting ability to sculpt more complex shapes. Twisting a mesh can actually be quite the difficult shape to achieve on a regular display tablet for example, but in virtual reality, I'm able to just grab and turn my wrist to create this effect. Now that's pretty cool. I spent some time testing and created this uh, weird thing before moving on to a practice sculpt, which was supposed to be some sort of Frankenstein's monster dude. It was Halloween at the time of recording, so I just thought it would be fitting. During the process of creating this character, I really started to get into the flow and was surprised by how quickly I was able to adjust to the medium. I think this is likely a testament to the platform as sculpting in VR feels incredibly intuitive. I also took the opportunity at this point to test out some of ShapeLab's vertex painting tools. At the moment, these seem quite minimal, but for adding some quick textures to a concept, they work pretty well, although I would like to see some color blending features. Now that I've had the opportunity to get some good practice in, I want to go ahead and try and create a full character entirely in virtual reality. My goal here is to try and create a simplified version of my little guy here. To make this a little easier, I made some reference images and these can easily be imported directly into ShapeLab and moved around in the virtual space. Now it's simply time to play some music and get to work. For the most part, I'm just trying to follow my usual Blender workflow, and ShapeLab has all of the usual functions you'd look for in a sculpting software. So transitioning my workflow to virtual reality has been pretty straightforward. And the sense of perspective you get when working in virtual reality is unlike anything I've tried before. After sculpting for a short while, I noticed that sculpting in VR feels much more intuitive, removing the need to get bogged down learning a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts. With VR, there is no keyboard. Everything is simply at your fingertips, and it's actually quite easy to forget you're wearing a headset. Once 
One area I did struggle with was sculpt in smaller details, such as on the character mouth here. I think the current nature of VR devices and using your whole arm for sculpting just adds a little bit of shakiness, and I found it quite challenging to be very precise. With practice, I'm sure this would get a lot easier, and in fact, while editing this video, I finally noticed the brush stabilization options built into Shape Lab, so this is going to make it much more manageable going forward. This was quite the journey diving into a new software, and I think I'm happy with how this first character has turned out. I've still got a long way to go with this software, but it was great fun to try a new platform. Shape Lab can also be used in desktop mode, so to finish up today, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to this to prepare the model for 3D printing. I utilized the Boolean tools to combine all of the shapes into a single object before exporting as an STL file to be used for 3D printing. And while this prints in the background, I'll end with some final thoughts. As a new player in the realm of 3D software, I'm very impressed with what ShapeLab is already capable of, and I can see this being a key tool for any artist. Whether working on general assets, characters, or environments, being able to walk around and explore your piece in an immersive way is incredibly powerful. And as a lover of technology and innovation, I'm excited to see how this develops and grows. If you'd like to give ShapeLab a try for yourself, now is a good time because it's currently 30% off with the option to buy once and use for life. And if you're a fan of Humble Bundle, you can pick it up there too, which will include some exciting extra content. I'll leave links to all of these in the description below, so please go ahead and share some love with ShapeLab. But that's all from me today, my friends. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next one.